What's up YouTube, that Matt Money here wanting to talk about what is a stock offering? Is it good or is it bad? You're going to have to bear with me today. You're going to hear a lot of <clears throat> because I'm just a little under the weather. So I'll try my best, but we'll get through it. So US Steel today said they were having a stock offering, which is it good or is it bad? Right now it's down 12% as time of recording. So not so great for them right now. So we're going to talk about what is a stock offering? Is it good or is it bad? And does it directly change the value of the holdings you have with that company? So we're going to go ahead and talk about all these things. So first, I just want to hit up an article that I was reading about U.S. Steel. So we're going to hop over to Robin Hood here quick and read that article. All right. So United States Steel Corp shares remained under pressure Thursday after the steel producer said a roughly a $429 million public stock offering has priced in. So as we just saw from that article we read, U.S. Steel is going to be getting $429 million for giving shares to the public. So what does this mean? <clears throat> so they are making shares that are not currently held by the public, and then they are giving those shares to the public. So it's a public offering. So they are giving shares to them that now the public can buy. So since U.S. Steel is getting rid of $429 million of their stock, they are going to gain $429 million. Now, you might be wondering, why would a company do this? Why do you think they would need that? Well, they need the money. They need the $429 million. The Rona has hit them really hard based on other articles I've read, and they need the money. They, the silver lining here is that this is the trop, is what they're saying. They've hit their low point. They're only expecting to go up from here. So this is just some money to get them through right now, and that's just based on something I've read. Always do your own research, um, but they're doing this because they need the money right now. And that's the case with anything. You'll see, I think a couple of years ago, Tesla did a share offering because they wanted money to start building their factories and everything. So often a share offering is just because they need the capital. So that is why they're doing the share offering. All right, so let's talk about the biggest reason that people find lack of value when people do share offerings, and that is share dilution. So. What is share dilution? So as of April 27th, 2020, U.S. Steel overall in the public had 170 million shares. And it's a little bit more than that, but I just rounded for, you know, easy math because I'm a dummy. So good to know. And what are they doing today, right now? They're offering 57 million shares. So we know that 170 million shares before, they're offering another 57 million easy peasy math and now we can see that there is 227 million shares of stock that are out there right now for the public so that is what's different with it and that is share dilution so matt that's great there's that's share dilution but what does that even mean so what does share dilution even mean this is the simplest way to break it down and this is the main reason why a company is going to lose a lot of value when they offer stock. <clears throat> so as of April 20, 2020, if you were to buy one share of U.S. Steel, you would be purchasing one 170 millionth of the company. So you'd own, you know, your little slice of your little slice of pie there. Your one 170 millionth of the company slice of pie. So one share would equal that amount of the company. Now that there are more shares for the public to buy, you are going to own, as of today, if you buy one share, you are going to now own one 227th millionth of the company, basically devaluing the company just due to the fact that you are buying a smaller slice of the pie for that company now since there's more shares out there. So before, one 170th millionth of a company and now it's one 227th millionth of a company. So now you are buying a smaller slice of that pie now that there are more shares out there. So that is what it means and that is why it's important to know what share dilution is and why people are really negative on it. All right, so a little recap here quick. So we're going to hit up what the pros and cons of a stock offering are. So stock offering pros, this company needs capital. They've had a hard time with the Rona. They need the capital to get through the hard times. They need the capital and they got the capital. They got, you know, almost half a billion dollars. So good on them. They've said in articles that they've hit the low. So hopefully it's just up and up from here for the company. They shouldn't need any more money. 
So they've said they've hit the low from their Rona. Things are opening back up. They shouldn't need to get more capital. And also we can see that Tesla did a share offering when they were like $100 to $200 they offered shares. And the market actually viewed this as a positive thing. And today, as we know, Tesla's like $1,000. So Tesla also did it and it worked out really well for them. So let's move over to the cons now. So the cons. U.S. Steel is basically valuing their own stock at $8.30. That's about where the share offering happened at. So they basically valued their stock at $8.30. When I think it's worth more than that. I think it's, it's been up to like $30 before, and I think it's undervalued somewhat right now. So they're basically valuing their stock at $8.30, and they could have done a share offering when the value was higher or just at a better time. So they are basically valuing their stock at $8.30. The share dilution that we talked about. So you're getting a smaller piece of the pizza right now since they offered more shares of stock. So you're getting a smaller chunk of the pizza every time you buy one share. Another con is the company having trouble. Obviously, if they needed half a billion dollars in cash, are they gonna need more cash in the future? If the Rona hits harder, are they gonna need more money? So that makes me scared to think, oh, they're going to keep doing this until they get through it. Or, you know, is bankruptcy a thought? I wouldn't think so, but, you know, we know there's company trouble. So that is going to do it on this one, guys. So basically just wanted to talk about well, what is a stock offering? How does it affect the company? Pros and cons of the stock offering in general. If you enjoyed the content, please like and sub, and you guys have a great day.